Now let's go ahead and check this pipe. Again, wretched moat. Also taking me to the left. The... The exact same spot. But if I go back... Some strange dimension that Peach has discovered. What will happen here, really? But here, back to some normality, except for the fact that it's Venomous Void. Avoid contact with the electronic... Elect, electronic? Electric algae. <laughs> well, it could easily be electronic as well. Maybe some sort of installation here, just to make sure that they are electric. Someone really relies on them. Mario enjoys a little swim. Now it's Peach's turn again. Also auto-scroll, by the way. So she can get really bored right now. She can wonder if this can go any faster. But she's lucky she was able to access that frog suit. Or in her case, this. So down. Flashing kind of like a... Some sort of electronics, though, depending on what you've done with them. But that was probably intentional, again, like many other ways. You try to attack Mario and Peach and the others. They don't even need electronics, though, to try and stop to stun me. I stun myself by pressing the wrong button, and thus losing my reserve. Again. I press this now. Maybe I'll finally be able to get the reserve. Maybe inside one of these question mark blocks. Let's check. Ooh, something's guarding the way again. Need to lure you right here and be really quick. But I still don't want to lose this suit. It's too valuable to me. Although it's easily replaceable, at least. Ooh. More electric, possibly electronic again. Okay, maybe not that electronic now. But, uh, you can still swim very easily. I love seeing the background like this again. Even the foreground, the fog, and everything. As much damage as it's probably going to do to my electronics, the computer that I'm playing this on, at least to do with the recording, I'm still going to enjoy this effect no matter what. Can we keep on swimming again? This direction now? Ooh, they, they actually do try to close in on me. Well, there goes my suit. Well... Take another one! Myself another chance. And maybe I'll get another one of these and another question mark block later on. Just to make it easy on me. No, I'm gonna get another fire flower. Not gonna mean much. On the other hand... I did want to save this. Well, if I did try to save this, I'd probably end up losing it to... Uh, running into so many al so much algae anyway. So many fish. So much danger. Point is, it would not be worth it. We might be at the end again, based on the time limit. Getting really close to it. It's gonna feel like an electronic shock soon. Soon. Well, that's not necessarily going to be a bad thing right now. We're still doing fine. Just a few hits, but we're still okay. We've still got the ability to swim quickly. More importantly, though, we've got the ability to stand still while we're in the water and not on the ground at all. I care about that more than the speed. Although sometimes I do care about both. We're out of this, and we got more invisible ground, sure. <laughs> but we are out of this. We're happy again. 
Do I want to keep this suit, though? Should I switch now? No way. We go into the lair of the Leviathan. Maybe I shouldn't switch out right now. We're gonna go deep. We're not gonna have a time limit, though. I'm not gonna know how far I am. I am gonna need to find a P-switch. Where that P-switch would be. Well, presumably this. I think I can swim again. Maybe I can do this all in one. Yeah, the switch itself probably resets because of this. Because it's mandatory. Oh! This looks familiar. Now we do have a time limit. I right, take this red block now. For all the blood here stained, you are now inside the Leviathan. Be wary of the spirits of those killed by the Leviathan within. Hmm. Don't value this, the other suit anymore. The fire flower again. Suit some other time. Because, uh, you know, wear it, wearing a frog suit or anything resembles an animal in, inside of a leviathan, that would be a bit too tacky anyway. In some cases. And finding Yoshi here. Nothing to protect him. Also, well, at least Yoshi probably wants to get out of here. So, can't really fault him too much. Oh, whoa. Well, Fault myself, though, for doing that. I at least keep Yoshi. Alright, uh, she's stuck there. Whoa. Careful with those. You take me up. I won't even try for that ace coin. You seem delicious. But, not really around here. Pretty sure Yoshi does not want to taste someone something else's stomach acid. Definitely not. <laughs> and and what a fine time for me to lose Yoshi. Well, we get another Yoshi egg though. I need to value this one. Probably should not lose it now. Um, ah, at least. Uh, have this to trap a running Yoshi. So, uh, in through this. And now up here, eventually, we're good. Okay, now we're getting ridiculously long with these pipes. And with the time limit as well, that makes it a little harder. But as long as I've just let Yoshi go voluntarily, we can do this. And you can do it repeatedly if I want. Not that it's worth the time limit. You take me up, uh, and you just take me back around. So let's take this direction. Take advantage of other possibilities here. Because it allows me to go back. Now that is even longer? Wow. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing back. <laughs> hey. This is just hilarious. They just missed that one exit. But now... What pipe can I take? Uh, we got this. The springboard. So now that Yoshi can cross with me. We'll head up here. What will it be now? Where is it gonna be? You're taking me to... All that just to warp to another room? That is... That is really, really strange. More than the other ones. Particularly since we got this one that's really quick. Ahead is a graveyard of ships consumed by a Leviathan. The tortured souls of those aboard are in great number here. Watch for the rising and falling digestive acid. 
Yoshi almost free at one point. And now, has to settle with this. Where'd that parasol come from? Yeah, probably just one of the blocks, since we got two of these used blocks right now. Keep on holding on. We will eventually reach... We can climb, apparently. Might need to take advantage of the floating here. Just, again, to make it a little easier on me. Let's take these veggies once more. Show you when to eat them. Teach the Leviathan a lesson. Well, it'll probably take him a few decades to absorb. Given his size, it's probably not going to be years. For Peach, it would be years. For Yoshi, it might possibly be one year. For others, I wouldn't be so sure. Like Goombas. I don't know how long it would be for them. And I gotta absorb the idea that I'm supposed to avoid. Well, you know what I'm supposed to avoid here. So you get hurt so many times by them. Was that damage from the acid or from the spikes? I can't really tell right now. It was pretty close. I don't want to die instantly. I'm not even going to try for that 3-up moon. <laughs> but the 3-up moon can be valuable in some cases. So much so that uh, it apparently resists the acid. Like many other things, I would say. We stay up here for long enough. We're good. To... Thank you, purple switch blocks. And again, too bad I don't have Yoshi. So, alright, we are out of here. Finally. And right into the cave. We'll be beyond. We'll have to see when we go on to the next level next time.